Welcome back to part two of our little horse makeover. It's actually maybe kind of part three because I did a little bit of work on this on my, one of my Tuesday talk uh, lives. So on that video I was selecting how we were going to do the decor on the horse and I selected my transfer and all my paint colors. The transfer is the Latin floral transfer by Dixie Bell and I picked peony, holy guacamole, mermaid tail, and those were just for starters. I worked on all the details of the piece, like all those little colors in the saddle, and then I got busy uh, putting the transfer on. I had to cut it out, um, just kind of following along the pattern of the flowers and just in a way that went along the saddle and just went up the horse so um, I know I sped things up here a little bit but it took a few minutes to figure that one out and I did do that on my live as well for the slowed down version you might want to go back and look at my uh, Tuesday talk when I did that one Then I went back and started adding more details of more colors. So finally it's time I bring a lamp base up from my basement and inspect it. It's obviously broken. It's a little rusty. But I clean it up with white lightning and then follow with water. And then I go about figuring out how to get that existing hole big enough to fit around the lamp base. So I use a two inch hole saw bit and drill a hole a little bigger than the one that was there. And then I slide it down over the top and then it just sits there so that's not really going to work so I drill another hole and I fiddle with the remaining pieces to get it to all fit together but I do have a hole on the side of the big ball section that is part of my construction so I'm using some air dry clay I'm using an IOD mold and just um, using this flower medallion and I'm going to do several of those on this piece to cover up some of those holes. So I it, haven't done uh, paper clay for a while. It's been a minute, so um, I didn't use the cornstarch. Cornstarch is a good idea. I also haven't used this brand of clay. It's uh, DAS or DAS. Um, so I just put the clay in and hope for the best kind of push it out to the sides and then back in and then flip the mold. It didn't do too bad but it did stick a little bit.
So my consequential molds, I did use cornstarch and had a better result. So I take the mold and I'm just using tacky glue here and I spread the glue out to the very sides because we're working on an uneven surface and I just want to make sure that we have the edges because we're also covering up that hole. And I did stuff that hole with paper towels <laughs> so there was a little something to press on. But there's the uh, cornstarch application. You just use a brush, put it in the mold, brush it in and get rid of the excess. And then it's a lot easier for the clay to release out of the mold. As you will see. Usually I flatten the entire mold. But this time I did leave a little raised in the center just because of the holes that I was trying to cover. Voila, that mold pops right out. So I sand that surface a little bit before I start painting it just because it just did have a little bit of rust, but I did clean it. Um, usually I use the white lightning and then sometimes when it's a little rusty, I'll use a little vinegar water. Um, I'm using silk in anchor. That's the all-in-one primer and sealer. I just love this stuff. I only put one coat on the lamp. So while that's drying, I get to some more details. I take some gilding wax and I paint some of the areas on the horse. I go over all those molds. I did paint white, uh, the white cap that I used on the rest of the horse on these molds as well. But I'm just using the gold gilding wax and my brush and just kind of uh, putting some gilding on the flowers. The medallions that are covering up the holes and I also uh, put it on the the medallions that I have on the details of the top of the lamp base and now I'm applying clear wax all over the piece and now I'm taking some black wax and a detail brush making them look silly for a minute but what I want to do is bring out all of the uh, details in his um, veins and the muscles and everything that make this horse look so stately. Adding the clear wax first makes it easy to wipe back the black wax, just leaving a little shadow that really highlights the detail. See all those details in there? I just didn't want those to go uh, unnoticed. What a difference that makes. It really highlights everything and just uh, gives a little more definition to the horse. 
If you would like to purchase Dixie Belle products, I will have my affiliate link in the description box. Then I had lots of fun adding lots of details to this horse. Are you ready? Thank you so much for watching today. If you like this video, how about giving it a thumbs up and also share it with your friends. If you haven't subscribed, you'll want to do that so you don't miss anything. Visit us at LaVintageDecor.company and on Instagram we're LaVintageDecor and on Facebook we're LaVintageDecor Altoona. Stay well!